Mister, how do you operate this Twitter thing or this Instagram thing or whatever the heck? You're supposed to know all this stuff. Anyway, welcome back to the show. You want to hear a funny story? I dozed off. Literally, I dozed off during during the last break, and were it not for my wife's voice in my ear, this would not have happened. Okay. Now, I made a promise that I would not do what we usually do on Wednesdays. I lied. I'll explain why, but I got to get some help. Mr. Cole Johnson is here, and he's giving me the rock eye. <laughs> Folks, he did he did that same look to me for two years in studio. How are you, man? How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. I just couldn't believe what I heard. <laughs> oh, Lord. And you know what's bad? You have part of the evidence as to why. <laughs> I mean, hell, you put it in part of your intro, for God's sakes. <laughs> now, let me explain. Folks, mm-hmm. we said it. We've been saying it the whole time we've been friends. And I said it since, since he's been the EP in my show. We don't look for this. <laughs> we do not look for this crap. We do not look for this. This finds us. It's mm. how did you put it last year? We were minding our own business. Mm. Getting ready to go on the air. I had just come mm. in from picking up my daughter. I got the I got the notification that you sent the slate and the thumbnail to me. And only you can do this. Only you can do this justice. But I will try my best to do an impersonation of it. We were just minding our own business, getting ready to go on air, and about thirty seconds after we after we go on, and then bam! Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, we do not look for this. I swear to you, we don't. There are people that have trolled Cole and myself as individuals and as uh, partners on the air saying, you will purposely look for this. Uh. (laughs) Even even Wise accused us of that until he saw for himself. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to see this crap. (laughs) (laughs) I you were there on the show where Wise accused me of trolling this and and bring and, and bringing this on, and then the next week, mm-hmm. Wise comes back to me and says, "You were telling the truth. You don't look for this. I told you." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't look for this mess. This but- you you can't make this up, folks. No. What we are about to show you. Oh, from the originator of this thing from the origin from the originator of this is that we don't look for this this finds us why because yes lebron it is you it has always been you it always will be you forever and ever amen and god help us oh, lord on your mark Get set and go. Old. In a world where partial greatness is celebrated and total greatness is shunned, there stands to be a figure on the lips of those who love him and those who hate him. The inane comparisons to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant continue and has existed since 2003. There is no end in sight. For the battle between those who unconditionally love and unconditionally hate him wages on. These are their stories. Welcome to the Bronze Sexual Confessions. 
I will see to the first, because God knows there's plenty of these. Cool! Where should I begin? <laughs> So, Saturday, we watched an absolute clinic and a classic yep. uh, performance. Uh, gold medal game in Paris between the French national team and Team USA. Uh, of course, the final score was 98-87 in favor of Team USA. They got the gold. Yep. But to me, the, the crowning achievement of, forget the tournament, the basketball tournament, I would dare say the crowning achievement of the Olympics experience itself was that four three point barrage by uh, Steph Curry in <sighs> oh in just a little over two minute span, and basically that started with uh, about three minutes to go in the game. In the game, uh, it was ugh, it was it was breathtaking to watch, and I was like, okay, cool. That, all right, so yeah, yeah. The chef they uh, he he helped bail them out in the uh, semifinal game when they played against Serbia, and he. Sealed the deal with with France. All right, everything is yep. cool. He went. Everything was nuts. Yeah, he, he went yeah, he, nuts. Mm -hmm. And 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 everything was great and kosher until I finally understood they award the Olympics MVPs now. Oh, now, Jesus! Now, no, no, did now the 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 last one was. <laughs> It went to Durant, and it, it happened in yep. Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Saturday, uh, the Olympics MVP was awarded to LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Now, I, 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 I get why they awarded it to him. He, he was, he was Mister Consistency through all six of the games they played. Now he didn't have one of those spectacular scoring efforts, but he did do a, he did pull a triple double. And I mean, I get it. I mean, so he, he so he was the jack of all trades. If they needed to score points, he po he score points. If they needed rebounds, he get rebounds. If they needed a assi assist, he'd give you dimes. If they needed mm -hmm. a, a defensive stopper, he may not have been the greatest of stoppers, but he did come up with a defensive play or two. I get that. Yep. But, mm -hmm. but the performance to me was un. It, it was it was it was forgettable, unfortunately. And I remember the semifinals and the final and and the gold medal performance of Steph Curry more than anything, and 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 my, and my my old partner will tell you I'm not the I don't hate Steph Curry. Right. But I'm not the biggest fan of him. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually saying, uh, that's the dude that stood out to me. And the moment LeBron James was announced the Olympics MVP and he got a and? chance to put, yes, and he got a chance to put his hands on a third gold medal. Oh. LeBron. Bronze sexuals went to town, and I mean, they went to town on their hands, oh, on their boy. knees, on their joysticks, oh, and their mouths. I mean, they just like, exercised every they, doggone thing. They went nuts. They went oh, nuts. It, it, <laughs> they, mm, they went crazy. <laughs> oh my! So they went. They went crazy. Yes, they so did. They did. They, they went ballistic. They 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 were as a, a saying that I, I still keep with me that was sort of popularized uh about 10 years ago. Yes, they went ham. <laughs> and I don't and I don't mean the pig neither. Nope, they cooked it, they smoked it, they glazed it, they roasted it. I mean they went nuts. Yeah. Oh, I told y'all we didn't look for this. No. No. So don't look for this. So I was in a, a I was in a, a chat room where we don't really talk about this stuff. Right. Uh, and 
And someone said, well, you know, ones that you have against LeBron. And I said, no, 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 no. I have nothing against LeBron. I have zero against LeBron. Bam. Nothing against LeBron. But if I, <laughs> and I just went, I just went on a tirade. I said, oh, but if I, you cut loose. Yes, I cut loose. <laughs> I said, but if I got to deal opened, with, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. My my partner opened up a can and finally let it out. <laughs> oh my! From keep going. <laughs> so I, I was like, look. In, in fact, one of the in, in fact uh, there was a, a person who asked, "So what's going to be the moment you remember from the Olympics?" And I said, "It will be the moment that I remember Bronze Sex was going haywire over the fact that LeBron won his third gold medal." <laughs> But and then I and I type and, and before and I did screenshots and I, I, I mm -hmm. wish I could pull the screenshots to here, but I did screenshots. It's okay. It I look, I've seen them, I can match them. Just no, I know you can match them. Oh, I know you can match them. <laughs> so I so I, I did I, I did screenshots, and before every screenshot that I posted, I had on top of it quote wait, quote wait, like, wait, didn't do it right. Did the screenshots and you had on top of it. Yes, I had on top of it, quote. But if I got a deal with more BS like this with a colon, close quote. And here's the first one. Quote. LeBron has more gold medals than Jordan. Smiley face. Close quote. That's one. And, I, and of course, I replied by saying, "Well, Jordan has more Larry O'Brien trophies than LeBron." <laughs> Hilarious! I saw that one. <laughs> and as I always love to say, find the lie. <laughs> Man, come on! You got to you got to do much better than this. You got to do much better than this. I'm like, all right, so, so that's the first one. <clears throat> oh no. So then we had to go again with some more crap. Uh, so I said, but if I got to deal with more BS like this, and the second one, let me see if I can get to it real quick. The second one read, quote, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> as I said before, the Avengers would have smoked the Dream Team because Curry and Durant are the X-Factors. No point guard on the Dream Team can check Curry long-range shooting. You put Jordan on him, and then Durant and LeBron would run free versus smaller and slower players. Close quote. They did not say that aloud. Oh, God. Dear God in heaven, they did not say that aloud. Unfortunately, they did. You have got to be shaving me. I wish I was. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, I good wish Lord. I, was. I, wish I, I know. Was. I know. I know, man. <laughs> the third one. Oh, no. <laughs> it, was a, it was a 1989 GQ cover picture of Michael Jordan, where on the top of it said, on my mama, you didn't have the gall to say that Jordan wasn't the greatest of all time at that point. Uh, and and gone all crazy like you claim brown sexuals do. Close quote. To which I responded. To, to which I responded, uh, Mr. On My Mama. <laughs> I said, you remember when you probably said LeBron is the greatest player ever at 17. Not even in the NBA yet. Now, what makes this so different? But since since basically you, since many of you weren't even sperm that hit egg yet when this happened. <laughs> by the time that picture was taken, Jordan came off a season where he was the MVP. The scoring mm -hmm. champion and if it's yep. played a year. Now I didn't say all star MVP and slam dunk champion, but I could have added that too. I didn't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There were four letters you put in that sentence. Yes. That you could never put in a LeBron sentence. Yeah, never. E P 
O-Y. Now, that picture was taken the year after he won all those awards. Yes. And yes, and yes, Bronx, Texas, I'm aware. Second round, yes, sem, uh, Eastern Conference semifinals, they got bounced by the, the, by the bounced Detroit, by Detroit Pistons, Pistons mm -hmm. in five games. I know. Yep. I saw it. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right. So let me educate you fools that didn't see 1989. Now, when this all happened, the scuttlebutt in national media was the following. <laughs> Quote, oh, no. Jordan is the scoring champion, and he's a great dynamic player, but there is no way on earth a scoring champion can win a Larry O'Brien trophy for his team. Close quote. Now, you lived in Chicago at that time. You were I 17 did. at that moment. Yep. Oh, it was 16. Tell mm -hmm. me, am I lying? Um, 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 how, how's that response go? Where's that notebook? Um, where's where's that pad? Um, let me get this uh, right here and open that. Uh, carry that over. Let me look over here. I think as my partner said best, um, <clears throat> that lie can't be found. Exactly. So to that, I've received the following from a bronze sexual. And oh, no. To and I'm going to say this the way it was written. Quote, oh, no. Oh, no. 22 years only, 3.5, three trophy emojis with a finger to point to the three trophies emoji. Wade, Bosch, Love, Kyrie, Rondo, Howard, A.D. Bubble. Um, crying emoji. Uh, water emoji plus a tablecloth emoji, tablecloth banner, dot, 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 six, one, two, three, four, five, six silver medals emoji, four, four gold medal emojis, five broom emojis, and a make a wish monkey face kid. <laughs> moan emoji moan emoji two fingers pointing at the two moan emoji faces with a failing school we never hear about close quote <laughs> now <laughs> Now I'm like, okay, fine. I let that go. <laughs> I let that go. Yeah, because there's no way you could, no way you bounce back from that. Mm -mm. No, 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 no way you're. No. Let me put this properly. There's no way your brain bounces back from reading that. And I read that <laughs> verbatim. You That's did what? what you did. <laughs> you, Lord, you can't make this up. I swear no. to God, you can't make this up. No. And here's the next one. Oh, no. Quote, this <clears throat> ain't effing close. Your A double crooked letter, a bum. No. Close no. quote. No, no. Underneath that picture <laughs> is Jordan in 1992 wearing yep. the Team USA jersey mm -hmm. with the big number two underneath his name. That's to the left, and to the right, LeBron in his Team USA jersey with his name underneath and the number three underneath his name. Oh. oh. And then I, and, and I know I was feeling, and I typed under it, I said, I don't think y'all heard me. And then here's the next one. Quote. All caps that I'm reading. Taste closed. LeBron James is the best basketball player the game has ever seen. Close quote. <laughs> to which I responded to, yes. Verbatim, that's what I was typed. That's what was typed. Case closed. Case closed. <laughs> Case Take closed. the floor, please. Oh, so, 
And so I typed underneath it in, in that one in response. I said, uh, case closed, quote, case closed on June 12, 2011. LeBron got outplayed by a sixth man. Hashtag never the NBA GOAT. Close quote. And then LeBron Sexual had the nerve to challenge me and say, well, um, the guy that outplayed him in 2011, where is he at now in 2024? To which I said to him, it don't matter where he is. He got outplayed 13 years ago by Jason Terry. Refute that. You can't erase that. 6, 12, 11. <clears throat> you can't erase Six, that. 6, 12, 2011. <laughs> but, ooh, the coup de gras. The best one oh, to no. me is this one. This one to me is this one. <laughs> oh, Quote, no. This is full bronze sexual madness right here. I mean, he must have been climaxing as soon as he was typing this. <laughs> Quote, y'all can la hate. Spelled L-E, capital H-A-T-E. Y'all Stop can I wish I was joking. Y'all can la hate. <laughs> But he is still la him, H I M in caps, with la gold medal, L E G O L D, la MVP, L E M V P, exclamation point, close quote. And I just had to say underneath, I said, La Lord have mercy, we get it. <laughs> I told y'all we don't look for this. Now I all have one day, of my, oh. all night, Saturday, all day, Sunday, Sunday, and even partially into Monday, I was seeing this. And there's other stuff that I saw too. Mm -hmm. One actually that said that I that I did not post in this this rant that I had. Quote: After the uh, gold medal uh, was uh, awarded to the U Team USA. The gap between LeBron and Michael Jordan for the GOAT has widened. Close quote. Um, there is something I need to find. Um, Michael? Stop it. Get some help. Um, Stop the cap. Um, why the f you lying? Why? why you always lying? Why? Oh my gosh, stop fing lying. Oh, but let me see the one that really took it over the top for me. What, what was, what was that? Wait, wait, I'm looking, I'm looking for something else here. I, okay. I, 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 uh, uh. Thank you for adding that one, by the way. That one came oh, no, in. oh, no problem. No problem. That, that one came in handy. No problem. Which one really was the one which, that just which, took it over the top for me? Oh, wait a minute. You added this, you added this one, too, and I've got to apply it here. Please. Bitch, are you for real? <laughs> God, I unfortunately, the unfortunately Rudy Ray, Ray, yes, I am for real. Yes. <laughs> I remember the day you sent that to me while Jody and I were on our way to Indianapolis. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Teddy, you for real. One of my favorites right there. <laughs> That's one of my favorites there. Uh -huh. you for real. Love that. Love that one. I uh, listen, I adore this one too. We got a So that's an underrated fave. You can't make that up. No. Speaking of underrated favorites, all of that comes to this. This moment of bronze sexual stupidity is brought to you by Hooked on Bronix. When you start talking like an idiotic bronze sexual, Hooked on Bronix can set you right. Call 1 800 Yo Kang! Uh, Ray Ray or LJPN, now I approve all this. 
Any of that come to mind? Oh, yes. All of that came to mind. All of that come that last question came to mind. But uh <laughs> thank you, Victor, for that one. <laughs> yes, that 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 definitely was uh, definitely was inspired was, by one Victor Law. That was Victor Law's masterpiece, right? There. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> and I'm glad he came up with that one. It, me made, too. It, it it made me run easy with that one. I'm like, oh, I can go mm -hmm. ham with this one. But um <laughs> You did. The one that just made me absolutely laugh, shake my head, and grimace at the same time. Oh no! There was uh, not not around the horn five four three triple play on us. Basically, basically <laughs> not not Gaetti to Newman to Herbeck on us. Come on. Or in your or in your case, not not from Bregman to Altuve to Alvarez. <laughs> this one i wish i i wish i had in the rant that i did but i totally remember it and it verbatim said quote Jeez. three lebron james gold medals is more important than michael jordan's two close quote what <laughs> wait a minute Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Austin. What? <laughs> what? What? Red. Yeah. Bitch, please. <sighs> and now we present to thee in Cole's honor the Wonder Bread Choir with an extended selection entitled Please Wake Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I and I, and, and you push. I remember the first time you pushed that particular button. <laughs> I fell out of my seat. <laughs> that was beautiful. So I so basically to that brown sexual, I, I said, <laughs> all right, so this is so this is exactly I've been the moment I've been looking for. You say this, but if someone were to say, quote, Jordan's <laughs> six rings is bigger or more important than LeBron's four, and it makes him better than it makes uh, LeBron not as good as Jordan, you would argue in return. That is not all that makes up a great player. And then I had a Bronsexual say to me, well, wait a that's minute. What... Time out. Mm -hmm. Time out. Mm -hmm. You mean this happened? Oh, yeah. I had a conversation with a Bronsexual. What you and... mean? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Victor. <Jacob. laughs> What you mean? Yeah. So I had a conversation with a brown sexual. And when that conversation was hatched, oh, and, I actually, no. and I actually showed the hypocrisy that is brown sexuals to the brown sexuals face. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The nerd to opine, quote, jeez. Oh, See, th this is why I can't talk basketball with you. You saying that six rings is more than four, that means that you don't know how to speak basketball. You, see, if that's the case, you, you uh, that, if that's the case, you ladies just need to just go somewhere else with your feelings. That that's that's not important. And then in a, a close quote, and then in another one, he said, huh, I read I read it right. The three three gold medals from LeBron is more important than than, than Jordan's two. Close quote. And I said, aha. I said, you have proven my point. And here's the problem with you, bronze sexuals. If the argument is not in your gang's favor, <laughs> then you'll be like, but no, it's not about the rings. That's that. That's not a. That's not a. That's not a good barometer. No, no. He he scored. He scored more career points than Jordan, and he shot. He 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 passed Jordan with less shots, and he has a better shooting percentage overall. Which that's true. He does, but of course, anybody would if half his buckets are penetrations and dunks. But I digress. 
He has a better shooting percentage than Jordan. He has a better three point percentage Barely. than Jordan. It took Barely. him. It took him twenty years to stop bricking all of his threes. But I digress. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, they get into the real weeds. The PER rating. Who gives a crap? That's an extended stat that I don't even pay attention to. And my next two words to the bronze sexual that had the unmitigated gall and me being a part southerner, I can say this like this to fix your whole mouth to say mm-hmm. that. Yeah. I but offer you know, my next two words. Mm-hmm. You tripped it. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you to my, thank you to myself. Uh <laughs> I told you I found that sound and I <laughs> saved it. <laughs> I said you will go all over the all over the world mm-hmm. to to claim that these are the stats you have to pay attention to. Not the fact that, uh, not the fact that he hasn't even come close to even wanting to do a slander competition, and Jordan has won two. Uh, back not back years, mind you. In back-to-back years. One in Seattle, um, the other's in my hometown. Mm-hmm. 87 and 88. 87 and uh, 88. You know, not to mention that, you know, not to mention that LeBron has only been the scoring champion of the league once, but the guy you compared to was the champion of the league in each year 10 times. Mm-hmm. All of not them consecutive, that, right? All of them consecutive, yeah, not, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention that your guy was five times all def- uh, all team uh, uh, first all team defense, but Jordan was nine. Mm-hmm. Um, not not to mention that in the twenty one years he has fully played, and he will begin his twenty second in two months' time. Your king has zero defensive play of the year awards. and you all claim still to this moment that Jordan has what's the word a fraudulent one in his fraudulent oh, no. Pippen, Pippen was the better whoa, 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 defender whoa, whoa. he he, time, he, he, time, he eventually be, give, mm-hmm. give me this see that penalty flag on the field <laughs> fraudulent now I'm not going to take the floor fully but I will invoke this you can't say someone had a fraudulent defensive player of the year when he became the first player to lead the league in scoring and in steals Steals in the same year, in the same season. And he had more steals the following year. He won the defense play of the year, but I digress Mm -hmm. now. Yes. Now the Pippen thing. Yes. Pippen did become a better defender overall than Jordan. I think both of us would agree to that. Mm-hmm. But around 1988 and 89, not so much. Not saying that Jordan was bad, but Jordan was finding his way in the NBA. Meanwhile, Jordan was already there. Yep. And he was beginning his prime in 89. So, no, he was trying to be the North Star to the team. And again, Brian can talk about this a whole lot better than me. I knew it because I saw it, but I wasn't in the same city. But yeah, and and then, and then these at these ridiculous things, and I saw this an hour before we actually record, <laughs> decided to d- do this, where <laughs> it was Jordan before Pippen and LeBron before his Miami stint, and of course LeBron he had you know he had a couple of MVPs and you know he had a few playoff wins and had a finals appearance. And of course, meanwhile, Jordan without Pippen. Um, oh, well, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. no playoff series victories, mm-hmm. no MVPs, mm-hmm. uh, you know, all that. Oh, and here's, here's the mistake though. <laughs> no playoff wins. <laughs> That's his rookie wrong. season. He got one. Yeah. His rookie Against season. He did Milwaukee, get one. April, April 24th, 1985, Chicago Stadium. So, oh, and by the way, Braun Sexual, you know how many points Jordan had that night? 39. You know, so these biases that these guys have and the way they want to clown them. And, and this is why I was just, just 
putting it basically like a mirror to this fool. And he, of course, he didn't respond because he knew of I was just speaking truth. Of course. I said that you all just go beat around the bush. You claim that your guy with other stats, even though with the Larry O'Brien trophy one, could shut it down all by itself. But I don't argue that simply because I already know that's what you're going to come mm-hmm. with. Say that LeBron is better than LeBron. Say that George is better than LeBron. And folks, and and folks like us real. don't have to argue with the Larry O'Brien yeah. argument. Yeah. As you said, that speaks for itself, but we digress. Right. It does. It does. I was like, oh, easy. Yeah. Um, let me see. More slam dunk championships, uh, an EV, uh, a defensive play of the year, more MVPs, more regular season MVPs, mm-hmm. more finals MVPs. Um, yep. A better shooting, uh, no, sorry, better, um, better uh, free throw percentage. Uh, shall I go on? I mean, I could keep going. I mean, Michael's worst year is LeBron's best, is LeBron's overall percentage from the free throw line. That number, 78. Yep. And that came during the season where he only played. Uh, and where he missed 64 games. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm like, okay, this is how you all are. You try to find every other stat to fortify, well, Jordan wasn't all that great versus LeBron, who basically you could say the best thing about him is the fact that he's learned how to cheat Father Time to this degree. Now, Father Time will get him, and it's starting to get him already, but... um. You, all you could do is this when it comes. All you had to all you had to do is this to me mm-hmm. when it comes to career achievements. There isn't much you could say about a guy who can last as long as he does right. to accrue the records that he's gotten. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, to me, I'm thinking, okay, if you're any good, you should get that many totals, that many records, and that many achievements. And here's one that you should be proud of, Brown Sexuals. Uh, there's only one player who has achieved and accrued 5,000 turnovers in a, in, in a career. I got the button for it. I got the button for it, and that player he is... is. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'm going to piggyback but the, off of... But, 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 but I was going to say, but you find all these other numbers, right, to, to, mm-hmm. to say, well, Jordan has six... And and LeBron has four, but no, that's not the barometer. These other these other numbers are here. We go with the uh, here we go with the Olympic gold medals, and because the number is in your favor, you just basically say slam dunk. LeBron has three gold medals. Jordan has two. Case closed. I'm like, when the number is in your guy's favor or your gang's favor, that's when the conversation stops. I'm like, you all are such hypocrites. You are such hypocrites. And, and and because and because of that, I always laud over you idiots. Then, oh yeah, there's one thing that LeBron did achieve in the Olympics that Le- that that Jordan didn't. And then 20 years ago, it was achieved, and that was a bronze medal. A bronze medal. Oh, and then he achieved nothing two years later when you all claimed that Jordan went in Olympic play, didn't play against uh, NBA players. Uh, they got the L against Greece in 2006. There uh, wasn't an NBA player on that squad. Didn't play against NBA players when Jordan was in the 92. Like, who told this lie? Yeah. Okay, Dino Raja, anybody? Remember the Boston, remember the Boston Celtics? Tony Kukoc, anybody? Oh, huh? Gosh. He, oh, gosh. He and Pippen shut him down. Mm. They, was, they were like, they were, <laughs> they were like, they were wolves. glued to Kukoc. Yeah, they were like, glued. Wolves. Yeah. Now I'm going to piggyback on what my partner said because there is a five-mile argument to the... Oh, God. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Five-mile? Oh, I got to hear this. I'm not going to waste my time and read all five miles, but I am going to focus on the championship (laughs) mile portion of it. There's a fella that there's a fella by the name of Mike Lau, L A U X, who can't make an argument without putting somebody else down. I'll read. Okay. okay. He starts his five mile rant with quote This is for the haters and the dumb comments they use as comebacks. Let's shut them all down. 
Mr. Johnson. Close quote. Oh, please let me let me have this <laughs> shut down. Okay. Well, he decides to throw a question in there. Can any of you Jordan fans debate? Hey, Mike, do you even watch basketball? How dare you have the short name of the greatest player that ever played the damn game? 1A, that is. The other's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Okay. I'll read it, and then Cole will pick it apart. And I better do this right. Quote. Let's start with the basics. Dear God in heaven, help us. Oh, let's start with the basics. LeBron James's greatness is so self-evident that even the most ardent detractors have to resort to desperate measures to argue otherwise. Close quote. Desperate? I'll pick this, I'll pick this one apart myself. Go ahead. But I, I, I just find it funny, the word desperate. Desperate? I haven't said this in about a year. Give me this camera. Desperate? Have you taken a look in the mirror when you talk about LeBron James? Notice any extra parts coming off of your body? Or shall I say going into your body when you're talking about desperate? <clears throat> People who insist on flaunting Michael Jordan's six championships as if they're the only indicator of greatness clearly miss the memo on how basketball has evolved. Once again, Give me this camera. Who do you think was involved in the evolution of basketball from the 80s to the 90s, you idiot? Now I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this part of the the mile, the five mile rant right here. And I am going to step back and see to my partner. Here it is. And this is in full. And this is verbatim. Quote. Speaking of championships. Okay. Let's talk about this ridiculous obsession, obsession, I beg your pardon, with the four versus six championship debate. Okay. It's almost endearing how some fans cling to these numbers like they're sacred relics. I'll read that again. Please. It's almost endearing how some fans cling to these numbers like sacred relics. The reality is that LeBron James has faced super teams and more formidable opponents than Jordan ever did. I'll stop right there. Give me this button. Mm -hmm. Close quote. I'll stop right there. Do you even know what a super team is, you fool? 1986 Boston Celtics, perhaps? 1988 and eventual two-time champion Detroit Pistons, perhaps? Definitely 89, yeah. The tail end of the Milwaukee Bucks era, perhaps, maybe, kind of, sort of, huh? Those were super teams. Oh, and you know the best part about those super teams? They were built. They weren't bought. They were built. Yeah. Maybe with a free agent or two that came later, but yes. Exactly. Most of them were built by the draft. Most of them were built by the draft. Mm -hmm. Okay? Two of the players I'm about to name were once Golden State Warriors. Bill Ambeer, Robert Parrish. One with the Pistons, the other one to the Celtics. Yeah. Yep. While Jordan's greatest teams were teams like the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers, bless their underwhelming hearts. Underwhelming. I'm going to stop right there and turn this screen off because if I read any more, I'm going to get angry. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to go in a totally different direction. Underwhelming. Underwhelming. Really. Matter of fact, I'm being told in my ear to put a close to this, so we'll put a close to it the best way we know how. And, of course, my beauty is getting a big old fat smile on her face because she knows which way I'm going. I can name you 10 forwards right now that played a more beautiful, fundamentally sound forward position than LaFraud has. <laughs> LaFraud. I named one yesterday, and I got called a clown. I got called a hater. I got asked if I ever watched basketball. I got asked, um, do you even know the evolution of basketball? You know the name that I mentioned? Adrian Dantley. Mm -hmm. 
Let's yeah. see. What are some other forwards I mentioned? Alex English. Some other some other forwards that uh, I mentioned. I don't have to say Scottie Pippen, do I? I don't have to say Larry Bird, do I? I don't have to say Charles Barkley, do I? I don't have to say Bernard King. I know my partner's getting misty eye, bringing back the old school, but <laughs> hey, listen, I get misty eye, bringing back the old school. Okay, I'll tell you an under. I tell you an under. Um, underrated forward play who played the game much better and was a very talented shooting forward and yeah. shot better than LeBron James ever did. Does the name Chuck Connors person mean anything to you? Ah, oh, the rifleman. Absolutely. Does the name Dominique Wilkins mean anything to you? Oh, the highlight film. Does the I already mentioned I already mentioned this guy, but I'll mention him again. Yeah, Does the it. name Bernard King mean anything mean anything to you? Uh yes, the forerunner to uh, Carmelo Anthony, who brown sexuals. Mm -hmm. They basically um uh, let me see if I can think of a, a polite way of saying it. Um, um they swim in their own cream. Mm-hmm. And that's about as polite as you can get. But the message is very mm -hmm. clear. Yes. All right? The message is very, very clear. How about the X-Man, Xavier McDaniel? <laughs> Man. Now, he he makes me long for having, having play go back to that time again. Where How about Terry? If, if, you, if, if you were a forward, mm -hmm. if you were a forward or a center, you actually played with the understanding of okay if you're under a certain height with other certain build and not having that certain type of heart mm -hmm. uh you were destined to be not to the turf uh not to the deck i miss that type of play i Let's miss it see, i mentioned Z i mentioned Xavier mcdaniel um someone who harkens back to that play how about charles oakley <laughs> mm -hmm. how about michael oh. cage Hmm. Anybody remember? Anybody remember that guy? You're getting into enforcers now. Okay. I'm getting to enforcers who played the position of forward correctly. Do I need to mention the name Buck Williams? <sighs> Underrated talent. Here's another one. How about the name Mark Aguirre? Ah, uh, the man that was to me responsible for the Pistons finally breaking through and getting their rings. Yep. Absolutely. Gave him that wing forward they were looking for. Mm-hmm. Because the other the other forward they had at that position was a center turned power forward. His name James Edwards. James Edwards. How about the name Kevin McHale? Ah, oh, Mister Up and Under. Mm hmm. The torture chamber himself. Now the last name I'm going to throw out there is really going to get on their nerves. But if you watch basketball in the 80s, you know this guy really was underrated and got a start at an all-star game due to an injury to his replacement, Hall of Famer Ralph Sampson. Yeah. The name is Tom Chambers. Ah, the forerunner to Dirk Nowitzki. In fact, exactly. To me, I think... And Dirk seems to be a, a wise basketball mind. Mm -hmm. I think he studied a lot of time chambers before he actually picked up a basketball. I guarantee because, you. Because, because his style of play was similar, except he didn't penetrate as much as Chambers did. Mm -hmm. He would pick his moments to do it. And that's but, the thing. Mm -hmm. Tom Chambers was good with the Clippers, got better in Seattle, blossomed in Phoenix. With the Suns. Mm hmm blossomed with the Phoenix Suns. Must I mention Carl Malone? The mailman. <laughs> Mr. Pick and Roll himself. Must Almost I mention Carl, Carl Malone? Hmm? Yeah, the now number three all-time scorer in the league. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but you know why people bristle when I mention the name Tom Chambers? Because there's a word I put in my sentence. 
when I started naming these guys. Actually, there is a phrase, fundamentally sound. Hmm. Anybody want to explain to me why I put that in there? Oh, I'll explain it myself. Because they were fundamentally sound, man. Oh, How about another see. underrated forward, Jerome Kersey? Well, you know, people don't really... People who weren't in our era really don't know the um, the potency of one Jerome Kersey. They really don't. They see power, and that's all they see. Do you know Jerome Kersey had a jump shot out of this? He had a world? shot. Yeah, but so he had a shot. Yeah, he had a jump. He had a jump shot out of this world. Mm -hmm. How about Bobby Jones? Mm. How about that? I see people will people will will basically clown him, especially mm -hmm. Brown Sessions. They'd say, "Oh, tall white guy. Uh, he doesn't really know how to play." Um, <laughs> tell, 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 tell that to tell that to the 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 threes and fours he guarded. Yep, and say the and say the same thing. I dare you to say the same thing. I day I double I double dare you to say the same thing. Former Rocket who started as a Celtic. You remember this name. Cedric Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Cornbread. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if you doubt his potency, the, <laughs> at a time when you would think that Larry Bird would have won the finals MVP, it actually was Maxwell in 84, was... and he won it in 81 too. Mm -hmm. Cornbread Maxwell, who has a finals, uh, as you said, has a finals MVP to his credit. Mm -hmm. See, there are players who played... The position of forward, small and power, very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I purposely omitted, but not for long, mm -hmm. a player that played it so well that he still to this day remains underrated. Why does he remain underrated, perhaps? Because these bronze sexuals are so stupid and so fallible. Fallible. And are just plain dumb at how good this fellow is. And I'm not even going to say his name. I'm going to let the pictures do the talking. He can get the tip up high. Three seconds left. Out the doctor. He's got a crack at it. Three-pointer. You see that Braun Sexuals is called a jump shot. You see that Braun Sexuals is called a game winning jump shot. You see that Braun Sexuals, in the immortal words of, of one Dave Zinkoff, his name is Julius the Doctor Irving. Hmm. Don't y'all ever, and I do mean ever, come after these basketball savants with your idiocy. Because all we can do with saying not even name calling and just breaking this down with facts is call you idiot savants. Heavy emphasis on the word idiots. Now to my daughter, now to my children and to my wife, forgive me in advance, but y'all know how I say this to close it. Now get the hell out of my face, you thirsty bitches. In a world where logic and sense flies completely out the window, while purple and yellow glasses are donned, rises a figure who encourages ridiculous, undying loyalty. Good lord, I'm about to throw up. This has been yet another installment of The Bronze Sexual Confessions. And my friend Michael Lau just texted this morning and said they never get it and sadly never will. Yeah. And to borrow your word, sir, that lie can't be found. Nope. Nope. No, no lie can be found with that statement. Mm -mm. I had to ask you back to do this one because of all the evidence that you saw after the Olympics mm -hmm. and coming into this week. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it I mean, it literally was seriously, it literally was a sports orgy. I don't think I've <laughs> ever seen so many men act like Clarence Carter and just go stroking. I don't think I've ever witnessed that in my life. And I'm talking about all four of LeBron's championships. I don't yes. think I've ever seen it. Yes. Even mm. when you even when you introduced this segment to me four years ago, and you I'll tell the story again before we get out of here for the morning. I will I will tell it again. When he introduced this segment to me after I saw um Cole Sports. He want Cole warned me. He says, I got a beauty for you. I said, All right. And then he gave me the clue that um he he did he did the show and it's up. And I'm rolling through it. And I knew it was on a Wednesday. And then I saw that. So I had a conversation with a bronze sexual. When I tell y'all, I fell out of my chair and into my bed roaring, and I frightened the daylights out of my wife. She came running in and said, what is the matter? Then she realized I was laughing because I had tears in my eyes. Mm -hmm. And then she looked at the screen and found out why. And all she said walking away was, your partner's evil, and walked out. Cole Johnson joining us once again, and we're going to crank up the football talk next week. My brother, I love you very, very much. Thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks for the invite again, man. I had a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this feel like home again? <laughs> yeah, it's like old times, man. Yeah, it, yeah. It is. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. No problem. You want to see Cole every morning? Do me a favor. Check out the morning shift with Cole Johnson. Weekdays, 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Central, wherever you consume it. Roku, BS3, and YouTube, youtube.com slash at BS3 morning shift, Cole Johnson. And I got to split. Have a great day. God bless. Remember to make your next move your best move. And always remember, if your dreams don't scare you, they're simply not big enough. Dream big, do bigger. We are, and we hope y'all are too. And please avoid these bronze sexual at all costs. We're out of here. See you tomorrow.